Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my, oh, I almost broke a bunch of candles. I have my $8 candle sale haul and it is the end of February, but um, I've kept these babies in a couple of bags in my closet until I had a chance to film this video. So here we are several months later, but I'm gonna go ahead and film it and get it up. And um, yeah, I actually, I didn't shop at all at the semi-annual sale, which that's the first time in several years, but I just was really underwhelmed by <clears throat> what Bath and Body Works had. I'd picked up all the candles that I wanted. So I just, you know, I didn't want to buy stuff just to buy it. Um, anyway, it's been a while since I filmed the video. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Um, please hit subscribe and stick around. If you have not subscribed, I'd love to have you. So let's just get into the haul. The first thing <clears throat> I'll show you, I got a couple of candle holders. So the first one I got is this really cute, like basket woven three wick candle holder. And it was 75% 75, 75 off, I think. I don't remember how much this was, but it was on sale. And then I also got this little marble kind of half um, half candle holder here. I'll show you. It kind of sits like that. So I thought it was really pretty and different. I had not seen anything at Bath & Body Works like this before. So I was happy to find that and pick it up. So for the candles, I grabbed a spiced graham cracker three wick candle. And this is a really yummy um, <clears throat> candle. It'll be great for the fall. It's ground cinnamon, cardamom, golden graham cracker. Really great. I also grabbed, let's see, a pink puddle tea cake because it is all the rage and everybody loves this and they've been waiting for it to come out again for several years. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. I'm going to have to burn it and see, but I'm definitely not a floral fan. There's a really light kind of background note of the floral, but I've heard it really turns into a bakery scent when you burn it. So I'll just have to wait and see, but I definitely wanted to pick one up because people really do love this candle. There's like a cult following and um, we'll see what I think, but I did get one of the pink petal tea cakes. <clears throat> I grabbed a Tokyo petals, which I never hear anyone talking about this candle and I think it smells really good. So. The notes on this are cherry blossoms, fresh strawberries, and sweet tonka. And again, I don't really get a floral note on this candle. I get kind of a sweet soapy note. And not really strawberries, but you get the vanilla. So it's just kind of a sweet, fresh, clean scent that I thought would be really nice for the spring. So I picked up one of the Tokyo petals. Let me know if you have this candle, if you've burned it, if you like it. Um, I don't know why we don't hear more people talking about this. I picked up another one of the Campfire Donut candles. Um, I really do like this. Another one that was like all the rage that I'm, I'm kind of uncertain about still is this, it's the Stupid Packaging Girl Gang, but it's essentially pink bubble gum is the scent. So we'll see, it's really, really sweet. Um, I think if I have it in like my open concept kitchen area, it will be, Hopefully not overpowering and just kind of a fun fruity scent for the springtime as well. Or not fruity, but you know, bubble gums scent. Um, what else? Okay, I have this three wick in white mint latte. <clears throat> this one smells really good. It's just fresh peppermint, white chocolate, and whipped milk. That'll be good for, I think, next winter. You know, the bummer about this, I think the reason <clears throat> why I've kept most of these, like, put away and I haven't filmed this video is with my pregnancy, which I don't know if I actually said that at the beginning of this video. I'm filming you several videos today, but my husband and I are expecting our second child. We're four months pregnant, which is very exciting. But I have crazy scent aversions um, when I'm pregnant. Like, I, this is our second one. So the first time around, I just, I couldn't burn candles. I couldn't wear perfume. Um, which is such a bummer because I love I love home fragrance and lotions and all of that but um I'm finally coming around to like not wanting to vomit every time I smell a candle which I have one burning in the background so it's been really nice just over the last couple of days even I've been able to burn them so again this will be good for next winter since I wasn't able to burn it this winter I picked up a salted caramel now this is a really really sweet scent the reason I grabbed this is because of the packaging. 
I think this is a really beautiful jar that I can reuse and it has the faux marble lid as well. So another one that I grabbed because of the packaging that is similar to that is Evergreen. It's just the silver and it smells like a Christmas tree. I do like Evergreen, but I have like I have a balsam candle or maybe two of them in my closet that I still need to burn, but I really did just love this packaging. So I figured I would get it and it would get burned eventually. And then the other one in that similar packaging, but in the gold was this white um, or this vanilla spiced pear. This smells really good. It'll be great for the fall. The scent notes are Bartlett pears, white rum, creamy vanilla, and fresh cinnamon. And it's not an overpowering rum scent. It's really just like that pear, spicy pear, creamy vanilla scent. So that one's really good. I can't wait to burn it. Again, I'll burn it in the fall. Okay, and then the rest of them I think are like springtime summer scents. So at the $8 candle sale, anytime I see like a fruity scent or spring summer scent, I definitely stock up then because again, it's the cheapest sale that they have all year. It's $8.50. Um, and it's a good time to stock up for spring and summer if you can. So I grabbed this Good Vibes Only. Hate the packaging, but it is, um, it's um, mango, what is this candle? Pineapple mango? No, no, this is a different one. This is one that I don't know what it is. So this is fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. And it's just a really good, like, beachy fresh scent. This is the one that is, um, no, where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. It's right here. It's the welcome candle and it has the pineapple on the front and it's pineapple mango, which I love this candle. I burn one every summer. Um, so I had to grab it at the sale, but it's just fresh cut, like juicy pineapple, juicy mango. So good. Love it in the summertime. And then Let's Stay Home. This one's actually another winter candle. And it's um, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Love this scent. It's been around forever. A Tea and Lemon. And I think this packaging is really pretty with kind of the marble picture with the, like the wood grain throughout. And this is a really just fresh, I think I'll probably burn this soon because it's really not offensive. It's kind of light scented and it's just, you know, like tea, really chill scent. It's not going to set me over the top, but tea and lemon, I like that. And then lastly, I got one of my favorites for the summer, watermelon lemonade. The packaging is pretty cute too with the beach chairs. So that is what I got at the $8 candle sale four months ago or however long ago it was. Um, have you guys been buying candles this winter, this you know, like late winter, January, February. I haven't, I haven't even really been following what they have going on right now. Um, I still love Bath and Body Works. I think it's just, again, I'm coming out of that season of not being able to, to stomach the home fragrance. Um, but let me know, like, what do they have right now that's really good that I should check out and potentially grab or at least, um, you know, sniff out for myself. But thanks so much, you guys, for watching. And um, I hope that you're having a great weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.